Uh, good morning, uh, Teacher Larry. Kumusta ka? Uh, good morning po, Sir Nonoy. Mabuti naman po. <laughs> Nakasurvive after this is the 10th day, I think. Yeah. Oh, 10th day, oo. Ang bilis yeah. nga tumubo ng iyong uh, balbas eh. <laughs> <laughs> Walang ginagawa at hindi okay. nag-aahit. <laughs> so, uh, yung, not shaping. <laughs> yung yung uh, routine is uh, you you go for your walks in the afternoon, ano? I I go both morning and afternoon. Ah, so it's like okay. during my break when I'm not uh, working or mm. doing something, so I go for a walk to get the fresh air. Okay. Uh, kasi it's just five minutes walk from my mm. place going to mm. the beach. Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, so I'm just lucky. Oh yeah, very, very, very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> now this morning, uh, Teacher Larry, uh, I would like you to share with us your uh, a little bit of a tutorial on uh, coffee painting. You know, uh, uh, you you made a sketch already, because it it starts with a sketch. Is that? Is that yeah, it starts with the the concept or the sketch, and the sketch sometimes um, takes so long. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, can, can you go through the process of uh, coming up with a, a simple uh, art, art that uh, our viewers can also probably take a shot in, in doing during this uh, lockdown period? Yeah, so uh, I'll try to disappear and show, my <laughs> show the sketch and okay, as, yeah. as, as I'm doing the sketch, um, and showing everything, I will try to explain the, the basic on how to start doing a coffee painting. Uh, okay. So, yeah. just try to switch yeah. okay. this one so, into something. All right. And so, okay. So, yeah. So, basically, the first part is doing a sketch. Mm -hmm. So, what I sketched over here is a bell. So, I got this photo from uh, the, the temple. The Buddhist temple, so um, it's just a very simple light and shadows. So we'll be doing something simple for for today. So first one, of course, you should have a a sketch and of course a coffee. So <laughs> it's a little bit messy because I've been using this one. So this is my coffee, and then I have a water, and those are the coffee that I have already prepared. And these are the brushes that I'll be using. So usually I use a round. Uh, brushes not so much on the flat one. I don't know why uh, it depends on the style. So usually for some people They have like three uh, Mixture of coffee. So you have the very light one you have the mid and you have the dark one, but for me uh, I don't do that anymore What I do is I just have my own my, my coffee so here so I just have the coffee and the water and along the way I just mix it up Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so this is my, uh, the thing that I'm doing, especially during the lockdown to keep me sane and at the same time as well as to, to express myself in this process of uh, being locked down for four weeks. Uh, uh, but the good thing... Oh, yeah, Teacher Larry, yeah. it has to be in a flat uh, surface uh, or it could be... Uh, it has to be uh, you can do it uh, on a slightly um, uh, elevated one, like, you mm -hmm. know, yeah, standing. But the problem, because coffee is ah, mixed with okay. water, so sometimes it will drip. So if mm -hmm. you're very particular about, um, or like perfectionist about doing coffee painting, so you'd rather have it on a flat surface than on the... Uh, elevated one or uh, slightly slant one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so the good thing about this one is you don't have to go to, to the art uh, shop to buy the material. So mm -hmm. all you have to do is like, you know, get a coffee from your kitchen and then uh, mix it up with water. And then you can start painting already even with a simple piece of paper. Good. So for me, I have, you know, I bought this one in, in Vietnam. So it's a coffee grinder. Mm -hmm. So if I don't have my coffee, so I grind it. And then after so, grinding yeah, so it. So this is so what we're going to do. So I think, yeah. So the very uh, first part is, I of course, you have a lot of coffee already. To check. 
Uh, uh, teacher Larry, uh, which can you part also do should the three in one coffee? Done because doing <laughs> coffee painting is like two in one color, so you start with <laughs> yeah, the you can do if you want to, but the, the thing the about tones, three in one so coffee, it's you always start with uh, small one. It has already, so, I think, milk or uh, I don't know. Shall we start? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. there's something else already. Okay, sure, okay. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Right. Okay. Uh, we, yeah. We so start. this is the this is our uh, what's this one? This is our uh, sketch. So usually what I do is. Because this area, these are the lighter ones. So these are the ones that I put first. So first one, I put water mm -hmm. on this lighter area. So this is a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using so only one hand. <laughs> <laughs> that's water. That's water. You know. uh -huh. Yeah, so this is water just to, to mix it up, you know, mm -hmm. to, to wet the, the surface of the mm -hmm. paper so that you see. So just to show you how, how it's done, for example, because it's like you no. Know, the bell mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it's I'm dipping my brush here on yeah. the on the coffee yeah and normally so, use so you can, two hands yeah normally use two hands yeah. for this one uh, yeah so, so yeah so so you can see the effect over here so for example like this one so we're putting slowly the um, um, the coffee on the mm -hmm. surface uh, and if you want it a little bit dark so that's where you put this one mm -hmm. yeah uh-huh yeah, and then if you want to make it lighter as well, so you can add a little bit of water. Ah, yeah, so the water like so. will will sort of dilute it, make it, make yes. it lighter. Yes, so it's out. more the technique is more on like you know, uh, it's how you control the amount of coffee and how mm. you you also mix it with water. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. And then what you can do is you can mix it a little bit so that. Like you know the, um, mm -hmm. so it wouldn't show up the um, like you know, the the lighter color if you're like perfectionist and okay. everything with what you do, <laughs> uh -huh. but if it's just for the purpose of like you know expressing yourself, so yes. you can do whichever you want. Mm -hmm. So so that's the first part, and then of course this one. So the upper part as well. So. Mm -hmm. The same thing you uh, with water. Yeah, the same also. thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we have to put water on this one. Nice, huh? And, mm -hmm. and then the same thing. So it's like you know, uh, it's just light and shadows because you know you're trying to see where the light is coming from. So it's, yeah. if the light is coming from on yes. this side, uh -huh. so it means exactly. to say that this one is a lighter side, and then this one will will have a little bit of a shadow. Mm -hmm. So you will have some shadows on this side over here. So, so this is a very quick one that we'll be doing. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so, 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 so that you can see uh, a little bit of a picture of what we're doing. So we'll do as quick as we can. Yes, and so. it's it's the basic. And then once uh, some uh, someone who, who will follow this. Uh, this uh, video you can experiment already with, with yeah yeah you can uh, there's actually there's a lot of videos also as well as on YouTube mm -hmm. like for some people who who are experimenting on coffee so we have yes. different styles mm -hmm. so what I'm doing right now this is the most basic style of okay. like, I like doing it but when I do later on I will show you some of my uh, the paintings the that paintings are done that already done. yes exactly yeah. that, that would be great uh, yeah. because sometimes what I do is no, I don't do the wet to wet. So what mm -hmm. I do is I just do the dry one. Okay. So I'm experimenting on doing it on just using dry coffee. Mm -hmm. Not not really dry coffee, but it's more on a little bit drier than putting lots of, of water. Mm -hmm. so. And it's beginning to take shape already. Slowly yeah, so as you can see, I'm just using, right now I'm just using one one size um, brush so this mm -hmm. brush is size 14 round size 14 yeah okay so it's a little bit bigger mm -hmm. and normally you get it from the art shops right the this brush uh, yeah you can get a simple one but usually when you're doing um, a more complicated one you want mm -hmm. your brushes to be a little bit nice especially mm -hmm. the um, so, so these brushes, where, where did you uh, purchase them? Uh, I bought it. Um, 
I think I bought this one. There's an art shop before in Howick, but it closed already. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a little bit expensive. Like yes. one uh -huh. one brush is fifty dollars. Wow, almost fifty dollars. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you're because like, it's a nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is your tools. Like a chef will have his knives. A carpenter will have his uh, hammer and all. Your, your yeah. painter will have these uh, brushes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the thing about coffee painting as well, or even doing artwork, so if it's expensive, it's a good quality. Oh, yes. But, uh -huh. but you can always make do with, with art. Like, you know, you can improvise on, on things and then um, doesn't have to be expensive, especially mm -hmm. like, you know, doing coffee painting. Yeah. So it all depends upon what you want. But because mine, because some people like, you know, mm -hmm. uh, they buy mm -hmm. some of my paintings. So, mm -hmm. and I also like sell it on a high price, <laughs> a little bit expensive you, you, you one. In, yeah, you invest on your, well, well, yeah. well, I, hope, I, I think you, at the beginning, you started with simple ones and then you invested as you went into your, you know, this uh, art, uh, the painting, you see coffee. Yeah. Uh, so Larry, I start. You, you, you know the 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 bristle. What is it made of? That that brush. Um, one, this because, one. Uh, some say it's made of the what's that, that of the of the skin of the the pigs or something like that. You know the the brush that that thing. Yeah, because there are different ones. Some of them mm. are synthetic. Oh, okay. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, some of them are made of. Um, I don't know the skin of something. Mm. Mm. So, but the. Um, the synthetic one sometimes is not so good because it's a little bit, uh, a little ah, bit okay. uh, thick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a little bit thick. So it all depends upon what 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 you want or oh, okay. how you want your your painting to be. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, it's wow. like now it's taking a little yeah. bit of a shape. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's not what you want to do. But so I'm we'll just showing you how how yeah, it's yes, yeah. Yes, yes. Just just show us the so, basic. Yeah, yeah. So. The next one is like, you know, we have to cover this one as well so that we can see how it goes ready. Mm -hmm. Very quickly, we'll have to mm -hmm. do this one. Yeah. So you got this in inspiration from the, was it the Fuguan? Uh, Fuguan oh, yeah, yeah, the temple. temple. So I took, yeah, the, I, I took this Buddha. photo, yeah, when I went yeah. there, but it's just a bell, actually. Mm -hmm. It's just a bell over there. But is it's that a the very bell good that, one. Uh, that you ring, that you make a wish? Is that the mm, one? Not, you know, not really. One, eh? The, the smaller ones. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, for our viewers, that, that's that's another place after the lockdown in New Zealand. You can go and visit the Buddhist temple on, yeah. uh, so, in uh, Botany in, in Flatbush. Yeah, and, and they have a very good um, vegetarian restaurant over there. Mm, yes, yes. Yeah, and so also the, the serenity of the, of the place alone is, is enough for... You know, I, I could stay there the, the whole day just, just listening to the birds and, and uh, you know, listening to the chant and just meditating and thinking about life and what to do. Yeah, and they're also, like, you know, they're very welcoming over there. Uh, yes, yes. Like, you know, the, the yes. malls and everything. So this one, so what I do, this one is, like, I don't put so much water already mm -hmm. because this one should be a darker tone, the, the bell over here. Mm -hmm. So it's really lights and shadows, right? You know. Yeah, it's art. just playing yeah. with lights and shadows actually. When you, that's why it's almost similar to watercolor. The only mm -hmm. thing about it is like watercolor. Of course, you have color. Mm -hmm. This one, the thing that you get from here is more on the classic effect, like you know mm -hmm. the old photo. Yeah, like the black and white type of uh, photograph. So this is yeah. more brown and uh, yeah. I, I'm beginning to see how, yeah, how, how it's taking shape. All right, that's uh, and to the minute details, you can you can do that, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm still using. So I'm I'm shifting to a little bit smaller brush, brush right okay. now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, oh, that's else one for now. the details. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For the no, no, yeah. Just to mix, so I'm trying just to mix the, the color of it here. So what what we're doing? You're doing that, uh, teacher Larry. Have you had uh, any formal uh, training or education in in painting? Ah uh, yes, I have my uh, art appreciation. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. like you know, when I was still in the seminary, so we have art appreciation, but it's oh, more okay. on like trying to. 
to learn how to mix colors. Mm, okay. So, that, so that's, that's how you, oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So those, those are the basic ones. So you try to, to learn how to mix colors. Then after that, um, uh, we also learn paintings, but it's more on um, oil. Ah, so okay. I started with oil painting, then mm -hmm. shifted to acrylic. Mm -hmm. Then eventually, um, I found my niche in coffee painting. <laughs> <laughs> Was it by accident that you found the coffee painting or you, you were really looking for a niche that you, you, you wanted? No, to it's just... It's just um, not really an accident because I was working then and then one of our art teacher went for workshop, art workshop, and they were taught how to do coffee painting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he shared it with the, with the kids. However, the kids are not so keen. Mm -hmm. So all they want to do is they just want to learn how, uh, they just want to pass actually. <laughs> so I'm the one who, <laughs> yeah. So I was the one who took it seriously, mm -hmm. but not the kids. And, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, and look where it it has taken you now. I mean, yeah. I, I've seen your uh, your paintings. I've seen your exhibits at the Buddhist temple. I've seen the photos uh, when you had an exhibit at the in Christ Church, and uh, it it's really amazing. And uh, I, I I'm so lucky to to know you and you you to have this. Uh, experience and that's why i wanted to bring the experience to the viewers in a simple way that uh, uh teacher larry is doing the coffee painting yep so yeah i i don't know <laughs> but at the end of the day uh, yeah like no like any of the viewers if they want to to do this one like it, it could either be a form of therapy like you know just like a hobby or mm -hmm. if they want to um, uh, what's this one? If they want to earn something from this one, they could also. For me, it's just uh, like you know, my pastime. You know, when I'm not working, when I'm a little bit stressed, so it's my way of uh, distressing. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it's a nice way of like you know, yeah. you and your art, you and the painting. I mean, you really. Yeah, but it helped a lot. So it helped a lot. So we're going to do this one over here. Mm -hmm. The smaller bell, okay. Yeah, the smaller, smaller bell mm -hmm. over here. So my hands a little bit shaky now for yeah. holding them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because normally you need two hands to do this one, but teacher Larry is holding the camera. <laughs> yeah, because we have the social distancing, so I don't have my <laughs> yeah, my cameraman. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh, it's yeah, but shaping up uh, pretty much. Uh, yeah. Pretty much, so we'll yeah. do this yeah. one as quick as we can. Mm -hmm. So that we can just show them, you know, how, how it is done then. Yeah. So it's uh, like a perspective of uh, the shadow falling on one part and then the other one. Yeah. Yeah. The light and dark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just light and dark. And then this one is just a lighter one, so yeah. Because that means that's where the the light is striking. Yeah, so the light is coming from the side, side. so that's why uh, this one's yeah. Mm -hmm. And it has to be consistent, you know, like <laughs> that side all should be light or something like that, or maybe the bell is turning. It could be, but at the end of the day, art is something which is like you know how you express yourself. Yeah. So sometimes you know the more it's you go against the. Um, the norm and then the, the normal one like you know the, the light and shadow so some of the people what they do is like you know it's like a negative one mm, mm -hmm. so they change it they change the perspective so it's more on the perspective of how you want it okay yeah nice uh -huh. yeah it's beginning so you can always experiment so like even what i'm doing right now is the basic one it is how you, you do it but Sometimes when I do my copy painting, I go against like you know the, the basic ones. Mm, mm -hmm, I just mm -hmm. try to experiment, and then sometimes the more you, the more you make some mistakes, that's where you realize you discover something. Mm -hmm. You want to challenge, uh, you you know, break the limit of uh, about art and, and something like that. Eh? Yeah, mm -hmm. it, and it's more on like you not know, trying to discover because art is like an expression. Mm -hmm. So um, sometimes the more we stick so much on, like you know, what is the the conventional one? Mm. So it's like 
our art would look exactly the same as any other people doing the same art. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you try to, to discover so that you, know, you can see the uniqueness of your own art. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's a, it's a personal expression, as, as you said. And, yep. uh, and it's, that, it's not like an assembly, you know, that like a, in, the, in the factory, it's all the same, that, you know, one, two, three, four, five, and all of the same. This one is uh, probably same, same uh, sketch, but then someone will paint it differently. Like you will paint it that way, and then probably me, I'll paint it uh, some other way. Yeah, different. Mm. So it's more on the perspective of how you you do your your art, and mm. like you know, sometimes even the stroke, how you do your stroke is mm. quite different. Mm -hmm. I've seen some. Well, probably not with uh, coffee painting. I've seen some people like they put in the paint uh, 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 like a big chunk of paint, and then they would blow it like blow it and then <laughs> whatever shape yeah, comes yeah. out would be that one <laughs> yeah whatever comes out so sometimes that's what they do yeah so for me it's you know, I'm trying to experiment actually but it's more on my, my kind of coffee painting still falls into the realistic one although mm -hmm. I tried to mix it up just like the mm -hmm. other day what I do is um, I on a printed canvas so I I do the coffee painting on a printed canvas, oh, uh, which okay. will I show later. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So just like, you know, to have a, a colored effect, like a background. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. So this one, I'm just trying to um, do a little bit of... You're um, putting the, the finishing touches, like the, the final details for yeah. that one? Yeah, a little bit so that, you know, we'll oh. see them. It's like a doorway, is it? It's like a... Uh, yeah, yeah, because this is where the um, um, not really a confessional box, <laughs> but something like that. So it has some some holes. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Mm. Yes, it's really amazing what you can do with simple, like coffee. You know, uh, I mean. We, 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 we drink coffee, but uh, now it can be used as an, for art, for making art. Yeah. So sometimes you just don't know what you can do with the things available. <laughs> right. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you just have, to, just have to discover. Yeah. And also it, uh, your, your, your feelings, your mood will also come out in your painting, right? Like yeah. If you're happy, probably, you know, uh, something will come up or, as you said, it's an expression or to distress yourself or to express yourself, whether it's happiness, anger, uh, love, and uh, uh, what's this, uh, positivity and things like that. Yeah, especially at this moment right now, like, you know, everything is uncertain. <laughs> mm, so that's correct. Yeah. You just want to. Yeah, the, the, put the something world. into a little bit of a little bit of perspective, mm -hmm. and uh, probably something that uh, some of our viewers would have been wanting to do, uh, either a coffee painting or uh, reading any form of art or uh, or poetry. Teacher Larry is also a poet. He has published a book of uh, poetry. And then uh, yeah. <laughs> I think he, is, uh, he is finally editing the second book. <laughs> yeah, I'm contemplating. I'm editing the so it's not the it's not the um, poetry book, but it's more an um, inspirational book, mm -hmm. like uh, short quotations and reflections. Will there be uh, paintings there also? Pictures of paintings? Um, I'm contemplating of putting paintings on that one, so that mm. like you know. It's not just a very simple yeah. book, but yeah. I think uh, you launched the first book uh, in 2018. 18. Yes. Yeah. I, I remember so it's it almost was like March. Ah, no, no. It was around May. May that uh, yeah. we had the launching at the Pakuranga Library. Library. Yes. Yeah. During yes. the Art Out East something. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So uh, hopefully we'll get to see the new book uh, within the year. <laughs> and, hopefully. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so this is the first part. It's not that. Uh, so it's not that. Uh, was it?
this one. It's not that um, very polished yet. Yeah, so yeah. because I still have to, to do a lot of other yeah. things over here, but now oh. I'm just showing you how it is. So yeah. we'll just do this one as quick as we can. So maybe mm -hmm. in five minutes, I'll try to finish this one, but it's a rough finish. Okay. And probably uh, in, on your own time, you could finish it and then we'll show it to the viewers again. Yeah. Final, so this one, we'll, we'll just do this one as quick as we can. So this is, this is how I do sometimes, you know, when I'm doing a live coffee painting, so I, I have to do it as fast as I can. Mm -hmm. And and you do that <laughs> uh, sometimes. I think uh, you you you're in a coffee shop uh, in Howick, and you did some some of your paintings there while people were were not really watching you but having their coffee with you. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes you can use the the t-shirt to to just dry up a portion of it. Ah. Okay. So usually I have um, a t-shirt, so it's not. But then I'm trying to to make sure that I'm not using a lot because, like you know, uh, these days you know tissue is a necessity. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they say it's a new currency. <laughs> yeah. So this is what we're doing. But uh, something uh, like maybe it's a joke uh, about uh, toilet paper. They say because you don't you have to eat too much. I mean, don't eat too much so that you won't be using too much toilet paper. Too much. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> So that's why it's funny how all these things are it's happening right now. But mm -hmm. well, the, the, uh, people use humor to cope uh, with what's happening nowadays. And in, in your yeah. case, you're using we'll, yeah, art. We'll, you're using yeah. painting to uh, you know to cope with the lockdown. You're you're, you're all by yourself. You know, it's like yeah, we, which on, is very uh, good. You know? you're like on home detention. You know, <laughs> yeah, because we try to to find something that you know could help us cope up with this mm. kind of situation. Mm -hmm. Especially for some people, this is very new to them. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I, yeah. I, I, so I, it's I've like, heard of that, yeah. I've spoken to some mates who are like not really, they always are outside. And so now they said, oh, it's so difficult that uh, they, they are like, you know, cope into <laughs> a situation that's they're just uh, at home. Nice. Okay, so those are the details now that uh, you're putting there. <laughs> okay. So, mm -hmm. so this part, so like you know, still the same. So they have like you know, sh some shadows over here. So yeah. usually I wet it first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just like you know, a light coming from above something like that ah okay and uh you can show us uh in in later on uh, once you finish it and then we will yeah do another uh like you know uh, another interview and do them final. so just to show you how, how the how the effects of coffee when you put it on mm. water ah, so okay. like you just drop a little bit of it and then it will just disappear yeah. and then you can put a little bit of water as well oh and yeah that's yeah and that takes shape already and then yeah it will take its own shape actually it's just like you know some kind of lights mm -hmm. coming around then what you can do is you can just do you have to have a very light hand because uh some people they're, they're, they're you know their their hands are quite heavy so <laughs> probably if they put yeah so it, usually it's a very light one that you have uh -huh. to to do so you have yeah, to especially control with your like, hands in, in, in making Yeah, especially uh, with tapping this kind of, mm -hmm. uh, with coffee, like, you know, the effects and everything. Mm -hmm. Or else, you know, it will be. So, like this so one. Like there's, there should be like a soft, light touch in uh, in making those uh, paintings, eh? Yeah, so, um, no, it will, it will take time to, like, you know, it's a practice. Mm -hmm. So it's like, mm -hmm. it's like a habit, you know, that you have to do and as soon as you do this as open as you can so that's how you learn all the all the tricks of doing mm -hmm. coffee painting or whatever yeah. form of art mm -hmm. so it's always a habit of, of doing so learning is not it's not magical yeah it could be ending. magical <laughs> it could be magical in the sense that you now on the first try you know yeah you have it because you know you're really good at it mm -hmm. but some of the time 
Yes. It's like you know, it, it takes time for you to discover your own. Yes, that's correct. Your own and style, you, and then you step up once you have done the like level one. Then you step up, and then you know, yeah. continue, continue. Yeah. All right, it's getting into. Uh, you can visualize it now, and then yes. uh, and, uh, yeah. Oh, and just dab a little bit to remove some of the moisture, I guess. Uh, and also a little bit of effect. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, because it will absorb the, um, some parts uh, and yes. it will uh -huh. like you know whiten a little bit of it. Uh huh. That's correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Usually when I'm doing coffee painting, I don't use this one. <laughs> <laughs> but no, just showing how you yeah. you remove water and yeah. how you lighten some parts mm -hmm. if you want to. Mm -hmm. So I think what we can do now is if we can show them. You know, this is yeah. not the mm -hmm. the final one, but we'll just have to show them so that you know. They will see how this one is, yeah. and then mm -hmm. we'll try to finish this one, and then uh, we'll show them later the um, the final uh, the end product. Yeah, the final. So this is just to show how how it looks like. Oh, so wow. it looks like that. And it's, uh, so I think it's almost how many minutes that we have? Twenty minutes or? Uh, I think so. I yeah, don't know. because we're using the Zoom, so Zoom allows so me it, a fourteen. Yeah, it's soon. a very. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a very quick one mm -hmm. because when we do the the actual coffee painting, sometimes it would take me two hours, three hours for me to be able to do some oh. painting. Just like this one yesterday, I'll show you very quickly okay. the one that I did yeah. last night. So it took me, so this one took me three hours to finish. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so with all the details and everything. Yeah. So, so oh, this one, one, so later on, yeah, we, we can yeah. show that one. Uh, yeah. It's going. What was it you were saying about that canvas? Is it is it there that you could show us or 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 which one? Not, you said there like the canvas. You said something about the oh, canvas. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So the the canvas that I've been so these are the paintings so far. So I'll just show you very quickly what are the the paintings that I have done so far yeah. during the mm. lockdown. Mm. So here's the one. So that one over there, mm. and there's another one. Wow. And there's another one. Oh yeah, I saw this on Instagram. Is it the one on Instagram, yeah. right? Uh huh. Yeah, Instagram. Uh, that one I've done that one. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And there's another one. So it's for COVID nineteen. Oh. Trying to okay. share, like you know. And this one, as well. Oh, is that like uh, a fishing, fishing something? Yeah, I titled it "Put Out Into the Deep." Ah, it's like we have okay. to put our trust into God, like you know. Ah, okay. Uh, I think I saw that on, on your Instagram account also. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So the same thing with this one. So it says here, "I am with you wherever you go," because it's like that to encourage people that you know, and all these things that's happening to us, God is with us. Mm -hmm. And another one is, if today you hear His voice, harden not your heart. So it's like you know, ah, we have to, yeah. to listen to God, and mm -hmm. even like you know, the government when. The government tells us to to stay at home, mm. to be in a lockdown, to have social distancing. So we have to listen. What else? <laughs> Worse will happen. Yeah. And then correct. these are just some of the previous ones. So this is on um, on wood. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. So some of the big ones that I have. Yeah. And these were some of these were on exhibit. I think. Uh, yeah. When you're in in uh, in Christchurch and here in yeah. Auckland also. Yeah. That's the other one. So on the on the right side, that's the one that I did also for uh, during the lockdown. So oh, really? Wow. <laughs> yeah, this one. So wow. it's like somebody's praying. Yeah, mm. so it's like a prayer. Mm. And there's another one that I've done. So usually this one takes me like you know around five hours or more for mm. the details of everything. Oh. And uh, we'll be showing you the ones, oh, not that one, on canvas. This is the one that I did on a canvas. Ah, okay. So that's the one. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is the one. So it's a printed canvas and then a painted coffee on it. Ah, so that, that blue light thing is already there and then you put in, yeah. wow. Oh, you're so, so it's like, so you know, creative. look at that. <laughs> yeah, so it's like a double exposure or mm -hmm. something like that one. Mm -hmm. So is this something uh, so, that's new to you that you you've experimented using? Yeah, that? yeah, yeah. So I've been wanting to do this one for a long time, and mm. it's only now that. You know, so I bought this canvas a long time ago, mm -hmm. maybe almost a year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
and I'm wanting to really do do this one. And finally, during the lockdown, I was able to, and the result has been so so amazing, so amazing, good. Amazing, amazing. Are yeah. you preparing for another exhibit, uh, Teacher Larry? Uh, I don't know yet. I might <laughs> <laughs> uh, because I have some. I have some invitations. So there's mm. another cafe uh, who who asked me to put my painting. So mm. if you know the historic uh, Den Cafe in uh, Botany, I, so I've they want me. I've heard yeah, so they want me to put uh, to decorate one of the rooms there with all wow. my paintings. So oh. Oh, yeah, so good. hopefully after the lockdown, I'll be putting because my paintings. Because uh, you, you also have a. Uh, your painting, some of your paintings are at the Lions Cafe in North Shore. Uh, yeah, so yeah. near the North Shore Hospital and North one Shore here Hospital. in um, Half Moon Bay at Half Cinnamon Bay. Moon Cafe. Oh, yeah. Well, Teacher Larry, uh, thank you for your uh, sharing with us uh, your, you know, your talent and artistry. <laughs> I know you had a hard time holding to the to the camera <laughs> <laughs> probably uh yeah <laughs> now i'm back <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's it's really like you know uh, sharing your talent and uh, making other our viewers feel like oh probably i can do that during this lockdown and then maybe after the lockdown so um hopefully we will see the final uh that, that the thing that we're working on uh, in a future uh, engagements. Yeah, I try to finish it <laughs> as soon as we're, we're done with the interview. Oh, yeah. So you saw that it's what I do. I'm kind of like, you know, uh, when I do a painting, I try to finish it mm -hmm. and then yeah, move yeah. on to the next one. Yeah. So thank you very much, Teacher Larry, for uh, spending your uh, Saturday morning with us and uh, uh, stay safe and uh, take care. All right. Uh, you too. <laughs> Stay safe. <laughs> Send my regards to everybody. Okay. Mga kaibigan, that's uh, Teacher Larry for our Ikwento Mo here on, uh, on a Saturday, beautiful Saturday morning. And uh, we'll be back with Teacher Larry in other uh, engagements in the future. Thank you very much and take care and be safe. <music>